Good morning and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channel. Today is October the 30th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word of encouragement with you from the Lord today. Thank you all who continue to follow this channel. I appreciate your support. And for those of you who are new, thank you for joining. May you be blessed as you hear this word. And my hope is that you would continue to follow this channel as well. Just a reminder, if you would like a printed copy of this word today, please go to my website, scroll down the first page, and click on the upper right hand corner of the word posted there. This will give you access to a downloadable, printable PDF. If you'd like to review previous words, please go to the archives. We are all on a journey. Life itself is a journey, and to some extent, an adventure, with changes that take place throughout our lifetime. We enter in as a baby, and we grow to an adult and experience all the stages along the way. But for those of us who have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, we have experienced the greatest change, and that is to be born again of the Spirit of God. But that change is only the beginning of more change, because the Lord has us on a continual journey of transformation for the rest of our lives. And though we are aware to some extent that these changes are taking place, we may be unaware of the full extent to which the Lord intends to change us. This word from the Lord today is a word that will remind us and make clearer to us the Lord's intention for change in our lives. This word is titled, Being Changed. I'll begin by reading scripture. Galatians 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This scripture verse highlights the position we have in Christ, that by accepting Christ as our Savior, we have been crucified with him. And it is not us who live, but Christ lives in us. This in itself is a major change. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 and we all, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. This scripture verse assures us that this transformation continues on in our lives. Ephesians 3 verses 16 through 19. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. This scripture passage encourages us that the Lord is taking us into his fullness that there is a full measure he wants to bring us to in himself. 
John 17, verses 20 through 23. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. This scripture passage further expresses the Lord's work of transforming us. Not only has the Lord given us the same glory that the Father gave Jesus, but Jesus intends that we become one with him and the Father. I'll begin reading this word. There is a speeding up of my will, says the Lord. Things are coming into place. The parts are being linked together. And as a puzzle, the pieces are being put into place. Those that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength and be lifted up on the wing to glide with my spirit. There has been a great shaking and a great awakening. The Lord is revealing himself to his people. The eyes of the people are being opened and the life of the sun is being imparted into them as they eat of the banquet prepared. As they take the cup and drink, they are being engrafted into the sun. They are becoming one with him in his suffering and death, for they are dying to the carnal nature and being transformed into his image. The shaking is removing the old. And as my people enter into communion with me, they are taking on a newness and a new name. The image of the Son is being born into them, and they are being brought into sonship with the Father. They are being adopted and made joint heirs with Christ, and everything that is the Son's is becoming theirs. For the Heavenly Father is receiving them as His own, and endowing them with His blessing. With the Father's blessing they shall inherit the land. The kingdoms of this world are becoming the kingdoms of God and of the Son. Every form of earthly government, of earthly authority, is coming under the headship of Christ. Rulers and kings shall submit and bow the knee to him as he takes his rightful place among the nations. Every eye shall see him coming, for he shall enter his temple the people he has prepared for himself, and by the power of his Spirit he shall execute justice to the nations. The doors are about to open, and you will be thrust through them and out into the world to bring the message of salvation and my life to the nations, says the Lord. You will enter places of darkness and snatch those out who are on the road to destruction. You will carry words of life to them, and as you testify of my love, they will be moved by the power of my spirit that flows forth from you. Get ready, says the Lord, for I am about to release the power of my spirit into you in great proportion, and it will flow forth from you to bring down every stronghold and every barrier of defense surrounding those in your path. Take up the sword of my spirit and go forth in the name of the Lord. Proclaim his name to the people. Lift up his banner. Wave it high. For as you speak the name of Jesus, you will take ground for the kingdom of God. I am setting up divine appointments. Be led by my spirit and let me take you to those I've prepared. 
Listen to hear my still small voice speaking, and do not hesitate to obey, for in this hour I am moving my army out across the land. Everywhere their feet tread, they will take the land. Do not be discouraged with what you see. If it looks as though the people are not receiving the word you bring, understand that my word is going forth to accomplish what I have sent it out to do, and it will not return void. I have prepared the hearts of the people, and my word is entering the recesses of their hearts, and it will work to divide soul and spirit and judge the intents of the heart. It is penetrating and bringing conviction to the hearts of men. You will see the people coming, says the Lord. They will pour into the household of God. They will stream into Zion. Do not be discouraged, for in this hour I will accomplish this, says the Lord. Walk circumspectly before me. Do not turn to the left or the right, but proceed forward in the way that I have prepared for you to go. The time is short, and the hour is at hand when the fullness of the Lord is to be released upon all mankind. There will be signs in the heaven above and in the earth below, and the earth shall quake at the coming of the Lord into his temple. Share the good news of salvation with the lost. Teach them to observe my commandments, to enter the narrow gate, and walk the narrow way to lay down their lives for the sake of the sun. Tell them the time is near of the Lord's return, and the ark is prepared for them to enter in and be saved from the destruction that is to come upon the whole earth, says the Lord. In this word today, the Lord is speaking about the harvest he's bringing in and that he is sending his people out into the highways and byways to preach and teach his word. He speaks of a great shaking and an awakening that is taking place among those who would receive him. But he is also speaking about a shaking that is changing his people, that he is continuing to transform us and bringing us into the fullness of his spirit, into oneness with him, and that it is the power of Christ in us that will take down the strongholds and bring down the barriers in the hearts of men to prepare them to receive his word. As I prepared this word today, I realized the Lord was speaking about the harvest, but what was impressed upon my heart was a revelation of the transformation the Lord wants to do and is doing in the lives of his people. In our daily affairs, we do not necessarily think about it. We just go on from day to day with things as usual and do not have an awareness of the extent to which the Lord is changing us. We are the temple of God and his intention is to come in his power to fill us and give us great authority in himself. It is a gradual process. But the Lord is speaking of a time when it will be completed and we will walk in the same power that Jesus walked in. I believe the Lord wants to encourage us that the changes coming in us are greater than what we may anticipate. And I believe he wants to encourage us with these words. Life will not be the same. Great change is coming into our lives as his fullness is brought to completion in his people. 
I am excited about the transformation the Lord is taking his people through. And I have great joy anticipating this completed transformation. I hope you do as well. May we all be anticipating the strength and power that is ours in Christ Jesus. I hope this word today blesses you. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.